Rob Satram here, Feedback Ranch. Today I'm going to show you how to get your leads from a Facebook lead form. It's 2020, July 2020. Beautiful summer and I'm going to show you how to create a lead form and why you should be using a lead form. But uh, just right away, how do you quick jump in and actually get your lead form? Remember, whenever you um, set up a business account, um, rather than just your Facebook page, but your business account, you access it by going to business.facebook.com. Once you're there, you're going to have your ad accounts. Um, and uh, so I'm going to go in through the feedback wrench account here. And once I get there, it's going to give me options for both ad accounts and for businesses. Now, once you are there, here's what you're going to be doing. You're going to navigate to your actual page within the business Facebook manager. And it's kind of goofy there. Um, once you get there um, to the page, not the ad account, but the page, you're going to hit more and go to publishing tools. Publishing tools will bring you into a whole array of options that you probably had no idea about. <clears throat> now this changes periodically, so again, this is July 2020. On the lower left-hand side here, you've got lead ad forms. So um, right off the bat, you've got your forms library. Here's all the forms that you've actually been able to create. Then you've got your draft forms library and your leads set up, right? So a um, couple different things that you can do. Your forms library, if you click here, you can actually download the leads. Hit download right there. You can download um, a date range or all of them. And once it's there, you're going to have a CSV file, boom, or an Excel file. That's how you download them once you get that. Um, and I'm going to be careful here because there's client data in there. Um, so yeah, you, you'll come to publishing tools, come over here to forms library. Now again, you can create a form. Um, the beauty about Facebook forms, guys, is that you don't have to push people off. It reduces the number of clicks, particularly when you're inside of like Instagram. Um, I recommend using f the Facebook forms. Another major benefit of Facebook forms is that when you're doing any advertising, whether it's Facebook, um, Google, and uh, Google Search, Google Paid, any any kind of PPC, you're going to want to use conversion actions. When you use conversion actions, rather than just for reach or for clicks or, or anything like that, the conversion action enlists Facebook, Google, and Bing's artificial intelligence or machine learning. So basically, you're saying, "Hey, I want." you have your target audience, but over time it will start to find out who are the types of people that actually do what you want them to do. So after it goes through a learning period, so you start the ad, um, it starts to learn to find out, hey, what are the type of people that actually um, fill this out? It will start to bias towards that. And eventually after you get enough conversions, you'll start to see that, uh, for example, in paid search advertising, it will um, really start to cherry pick and, and you can even go for a cost per conversion action, but, um, it, it's really important to do ads for conversions. Now I would also add that, um, this is the easiest way to do conversions if you're not good at setting up other conversion actions. So the lead form is the simplest conversion. You can say it's for a lead. This is the conversion action. This is it right here. And uh, it makes life pretty easy. And it's also, it's not many clicks away, so it's very easy. Now, the other thing you can do is when you go to the lead setup form, you can set up the CRM. You can put follow up boss if you're a real estate agent, um, active campaign, MailChimp, HubSpot, lots of different options in here. And you can have some fun with that. So, guys, that's how you find your leads. Um, this is where you would come to build a form um, to collect leads. And there's, there's lots of options there. So, good luck. God bless.